remember mom and dad telling me that I was going to go to the hospital for people that are retarded. Mom let go of my hand and the nurse with the cap took me in. I was so afraid. The first name was the Aurelia Lunatic Asylum for Chronic Patients. From the very beginning, Huronia was notoriously known for its terrible conditions. It became the Aurelia Asylum for Idiots. The sadism that occurred at Huronia was absolutely the norm. Went there in isolation. They broke my teeth, they broke my legs. We had a bunch of psychopaths taking care of us. I was terrified. They drugged you up. They drugged you up. Who would believe me? Who would believe any of us? It was a deeply loveless place. There are spaces that tell people that they are unloved and unlovable at every turn. Two half-brothers both go to the same place in three years. None of us kids knew Alfie or Lewis. No one spoke of them. Look at that. So that's what he looked like. He came in perfectly healthy. Our brother Alfie was found dead in his bed. He was 23. They murdered him, in my opinion. You don't let a kid die. You're supposed to take care of them. All those years from 1971 to 2009, the government had been told to close the place. It's a mess. And in 1963, they passed standards North America-wide. Peronia completely failed to comply with these standards. The court approved a $35 million settlement in a class action suit. It was never about the money. The only thing that pisses me off, I want to be able to say, this is what you guys did to me. Many of them regret they never went to court to tell their story. So we need to learn from that. We felt that it was important to have survivors tell their story through this monument. If you don't talk about your story, nobody will listen. <laughs>